BassPanDirect.com with another Naked Sound review and what you heard at the beginning there is this beautiful J note by Atelier Z which was recorded direct on that original track of mine into my Focusrite. My original music by the way there are links down below and you can find me on all digital platforms under Danny M. Stewart if you're interested. All right let's get on with uh, this. So what is J note? Why does Atelier Z have this brand called Jano? Um, so these came about like in the late 90s originally. I think the first prototype was made then. And um, it was really for a, a sort of, um, originally a, a higher priced than the M series. Um, and always with the 24 fret neck, always with this body shape and this headstock shape and in four, five, and I think they made some six string models uh, as well. Um, and uh, they kind of stopped production um, in the 20, around 2010 or something like that. And, and uh, we didn't see them for a while. Uh, and then they started production again last year, just making a very small run. And I asked them if I could get some in. Um, and uh, at that time they said no, because they didn't know um, what the production schedule was going to be like uh, but luckily as it happens um, they just completed a small batch and uh, I I got in two I got this one in with white burst and I got another natural one in which are, they're linked down below in the Shopify um, carousel and uh, in the description as well if you want to buy one of them <laughs> So I'm just now playing it on the room mic uh, to give you a contrast between how it sounds direct and also just in the room going through a small uh, PJB amp. So, um, this stunning rear pickup sound. Let's just play that, that bass line from the song. Let's uh, go balanced and just try a little bit of slap in the high uh, uh, without the mid engaged. Um, ah. Let's engage the mid now in the high setting. got a good slap slap tone like compared with the Hadrian Furore by Ken Smith um, this has like a, a, a much wider tonal variety but I think the rear pickup sound is equally as nice if not a little bit better because of that mid switch um, but when you go balanced 
it doesn't sound nasal like um, the Hadrian Fraud. I know that's his sound, and I love it, don't get me wrong. Um, it's unique um, and beautiful, but um, I think for my money, this is very, very close to the sound on the rear pickup, uh, but it's got a much more versatile sound set um, overall. Um, so that's great. And then we go to the low setting. It's not really that appropriate for slapping, um, but great again for just, just playing grooves. up with the uh, high mid setting So yeah, uh, a much more versatile sound set in my opinion. Um, but it is compared to like the Magnitude series or the Beatles, uh, which have the Atelier Z in-house pickups, um, those sound a lot more transparent than this. This sounds more opaque and organic. Um, I kind of like that opaque organic um, quality personally. Um, but I do like, uh, I do also like the very, very crisp modern transparent, punchy, crisp jazz sound, um, jazz bass that sounds like breaking glass. That's really nice too uh, in certain settings. But for what I do, this is more appropriate. Um, so yeah, and it's a very, very comfortable action. Uh, and I'll tell you the main construction differences now. So the main construction differences, one, uh, they have this contour at the back of the body um and uh to the neck rather than being a taper in depth it's not tapered in depth it's uniform and i think it's 22 millimeters deep um whereas like on a beta or a magnitude an m series it goes from 21 to something like when you get up to the 20 when you get up to the uh, 16th fret you'd be at 24 or 25 millimeters deep already so it doesn't have that taper, it's uniform, which is very similar to the Moon Climb as well. I've also linked to the, a video of the Moon Climb as well, because it's a similar model, similar spec, similar um, looks and feel of play as well. And the neck is, a, is almost the same, um, what, do we, what would we say, the same grip. Um, so, and the grip is, a, it's like a D, but it's slightly offset, so um, so that it's a little bit thinner towards the G string side and a little bit thicker towards the E, the B string side. Very comfortable. Um, and like I've already told you it has the uh, the Bartolini pickups instead of the Telio Z ones. So the other thing is that it uses uh, Gotto GB three hundred and fifty tuning pegs, which are Resolite's very high grade um, with the great, very smooth gear ratio. It's absolutely fantastic stuff, ladies and gents, so I thoroughly recommend these. Um, and uh, unfortunately, there are only these two available for the next little while. Um, they still to decide whether they're going to offer these um, as custom orders or not. Um, but certainly, um, I'm sure they will make another batch and I will be able to get more in of standard stock if not so anyway it's worth checking out but these two for the time being are the only ones around um, 
everywhere else is, is sold out, unfortunately. Um, well worth having, in my opinion, an absolutely fantastic base. Thanks again for watching another Naked Sound review. Everything is linked down below that you need to buy one of these bases. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find my videos informative. I thank you as always, and I'll see you again for the next one. Cheers.